when former U.S. Senator Mike Ravel, 2008 presidential candidate and distinguished former U.S. Senator from Alaska from 69 to 81 is the founder of the 9-11 Initiative Campaign. Mike has traveled extensively to speak with 9-11 Truth activists about his effort. They've now launched, or are about to launch, 911cc.org or 9-11cc.org. It'll get you there both ways. Or MikeRavel.us. You can link over to the other site that way. they got a very exciting initiative uh, to call for a new investigation of 9-11. Uh, and uh, again, 9-11, whether you think it's an inside job or not, wh whether you buy the fairy tales or not, that Santa Claus is real and the rest of it, that Building 7 could fall and it's on, that passports could survive and be found that day. I mean, all of this craziness. You cannot deny it's been used against the American people. The Patriot Act is used thousands of times a year per state, admittedly, and non-terror related, domestic disputes, marijuana, that, 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 that our republic is dying. And 9-11 is a stake that they're trying to basically uh, you know, uh, crucify us with. Uh, you know, they're killing us with this system. And so the, the idea, I see these people on, on my website saying, if you don't like the TSA, don't fly. Well, they admit they're going on the streets of America. I mean, they're going into high school proms. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's incredible uh, that all of this is happening. And, and so we've got to expose the fraud, the myth, the fable, the uh, religion of 9-11. Uh, the idea that government is going to protect you from real terror attacks, provocateur terror attacks, uh, staged terror attacks, manufactured, synthetic. There's all these different forms of terror attacks. And... Uh, that's why we've got to expose the big lie of 9-11 that's launched all these wars. They said Saddam did it. You know, I mean, it just, it's, it's, it, it's ongoing. Uh, Senator Gravel, thank you for joining us today to announce this new initiative. Well, thank you for having me and giving us an audience uh, that's attuned to conspiracy theories uh, and, and really doesn't buy necessarily what the government has put out. Uh, we, you know, even even the people in the uh, commission that was appointed by Bush uh, admitted that they were designed to fail. They didn't have enough money. They didn't have enough time. And several members called it a fraud. We need to know what's gone on. As you pointed out in your lead up, here we have probably the most significant event in the last hundred years affecting our history, our survival as a democracy, and, uh, and it needs to be investigated. We need to know what really happened uh, leading up to 9-11, what happened on 9-11, and what happened in the aftermath of 9-11. And we don't know that. We do know that over the last nine years, almost ten years now, that uh, private citizens on their own initiative have gone out and done unbelievable research, scientific research, analysis, and, and really that information, that knowledge, those da that data indicates that there is just something askew in what really happened, and we need to know it. Now, we're not saying that this party or that party are the guilty parties. What we're saying is the facts do not add up at this point in time, and it's in our national interest to investigate the situation to determine what really did happen and if there were other people involved in criminality. But we don't know that yet. We just know that it doesn't add up right now. Well, um, I had, and, and, and this is important because it shows the, the, the people's uh, tactics that are going to be used, the folks that want to suppress inquiry, investigation, transparency. Um, the BBC came here to interview me, and, and I, I, had, I had agreed to the interview, but then forgot about it. Months later, they showed up, and I was kind of blindsided by it. Uh, and once I was in the interview, uh, the, the individual interviewing me just kept giggling, and I would say, well, do you think passports can magically come out of the fireball in the plane and be found in all the bedlam? And, and, and he yeah. giggled and said, yes, I do, and it was real funny. So, I, I, I mean, I was dealing with a real mercenary. And then he said, don't you want to, you know, to deny 9-11 truth? Don't you know it's dying? Don't you know it's been discredited when actually the opposite's happened according to all the polls and the evidence? And, and, and now I understand that they're going to people in the 9-11 truth movement who, who clearly are cognitive dissidents, folks that Cass Sunstein talked about, infiltrators, 
you know, who basically are, 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 are called up you know, before the uh, council to admit they're a witch and to denounce us and say that we're witches. You know, it's kind of like that thing from 500 uh, years ago. And, and you know, he said, you know, do you want to renounce your 9-11 trutherism? You know, everyone's renouncing it. And it's kind of like everybody knows the moon is made of cheese. Everybody knows they found WMDs in Iraq. So, so, so they're so desperate to prop up their fable, their conspiracy theory, that they're now uh, going to incredible lengths. And they've got all these U.S. and, and, and foreign specials, uh, British specials, BBC specials coming out uh, where they announce, you know, that uh, Ding Dong, uh, you know, you know, the evil witch of 9/11 Truth is dead. Uh, and it, 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 it shows how desperate they are, Senator. And it's not working. It's not working at all. Because I think any reasonable person looking at the situation uh, can't quarrel with the having an investigation. It, it's just so fundamental. When, when you don't have all the information, having an investigation is just logical. And that's really the, the whole case that we make. We're not. Uh, we're not. Uh, we're not defining a conspiracy. We're just saying that there's enough questions that require an investigation. And since the body politic, my God, the politicians are frightened of this, and uh, they think it's a it's a poison pill for their own careers if they even step forward uh, and and say something on it. And so what we need is what we're doing which is beginning to take ordinary citizens and bring them to the fore in pressing for this investigation. Well, we're going to talk about the new initiative, but uh, people tend to forget now, coming up just a few months away, three months away now, uh, or less, 10-year uh, anniversary, that six of the 10 9-11 commissioners say that it was either a complete fraud and a lie and a criminal cover-up by the, quote, Pentagon and White House, or a partial cover-up, uh, in, in the aftermath uh, of the three lawyers, two of the lawyers, Farmer and others, have come out and said it's a criminal cover-up. Cheney and Bush testified, not under oath, but in secret. I mean, it just goes on and on. Folks forget the commission itself, after the fact, came out and said it was a fraud because they know later the truth's going to come out and they had pangs of conscience. That's, that's accurate, Alex. And that alone, forget all the other data, uh, like uh, with respect to Building 7 and all of that, but that alone requires a new investigation. Without going into any conspiracies, we're just saying that the people who were charged with investigating it have said, we didn't do the job. And, and, uh, and, and they've said even worse, as you pointed out. So how could anybody question the efficacy of, uh, of going forth with not asking the government, because we know we'll not get justice from the government, but asking the people in various states, do you want a new investigation? And if they vote in the affirmative for the initiative, then a body comes into being, a citizen's commission comes into being, which then other states, by initiative or resolution, can tie into with a joint powers agreement. And so we can broaden the, the uh, geographic reach of, uh, of this commission right across the country, even though we don't have it in federal law uh, at a national level. And by the way, the feds are obviously very scared of this. They tried to get a state investigation and then a city investigation in New York, even though they had the signatures that the courts wouldn't let it come forward, they are kicking and screaming. They do not want independent investigations to draw attention uh, to the complete nonsensical fairy tale. You, you know, because the, the media, the corporate globalist media always says, well, you have all these different views and ideas because we don't know the truth. We're investigating. There's a whole sea of different ideas. A lot of them have been proven to be operatives that go in to try to, you know, say ridiculous things to discredit real inquiry. And we're seeing that's the new initiative uh, with the BBC. Uh, I mean, I've been just confirmed some information this morning that just blows me away. But we have to continue to collate uh, the information. The system is very scared and trying to rewrite history again back to their false narrative. But uh, it's not going to work. No, I don't think so. And I think that this approach, see, it's an actionable approach. What we've had within the 9-11 Truth Movement is essentially the gathering of information and data. What we're now doing is is taking this information and saying, hey, we need a legitimate.
legitimate investigation. The government's not going to give it to us, so we need to new, use the only tool at our disposal, uh, which is, exists in 24 states where people can make laws directly. And so we're going to be using that, whether California, Oregon, Massachusetts, Colorado, Alaska, uh, Arkansas, we'll be using that vehicle to get the people to make the decision or ask the people to make the decision should an investigation go forward, should we create a new commission. Now, to do that, Alex, the, the rub is, is will we be able to raise the monies? Nobody in the leadership role here is well endowed uh, financially. But will we be able to raise the contributions from ordinary citizens, maybe a few angels, to get this undertaking on its way and uh, and get the information to the American people as to what they can do. Senator Not Gravel, just... stay there. Let's come back and talk about the new initiative in detail. Our U.S. Senator Mike Gravel, presidential candidate, is our guest. Unfortunately, we only have one more segment with him. I look forward to having him up for a full hour in the near future as this initiative launches. So uh, codify exactly the new site, when it's launching, what you plan to do, with this new uh, um, this new initiative, what uh, first off the site is nine dash eleven or just nine eleven cc dot org and cc stands for the campaign committee uh, and now what what the initiative does it, it it permits people to be able to vote for or against creating a new uh, commission. Uh, they will be appointed by the board of directors of the campaign committee, and that commission uh, or that language will set up a, uh, a transfer of the political jurisdiction in questions uh, power, grand jury powers, to be able to subpoena, uh, to be able to put people under oath, and to be able to provide a report of indictment that would be turned over to the jurisdiction in question. Now, once we can get this initiative enacted into a single state or a number of states uh, on a parallel fashion, then other states will be able to, by initiative or by law of their legislative bodies, uh, join this commission uh, and add their their uh, jurisdiction, uh, their grand jury powered jurisdiction to the commission. Uh, and so if we start, let's say, with Oregon, Alaska, and then Massachusetts, and then California can, can tie into, you got to look upon it as we're creating a bucket of powers, grand jury powers, and other states can decide to jump in and be part of that body of powers, and not only states, but uh, local jurisdictions that have initiative powers like New York City and over 50 in, in the state of Texas, where they can by, by law, either legislative uh, by the people with initiatives, or their governments can choose to just join the effort. And as people across the country realize what this commission can do, there will be a lot of, of effort, a lot of political power uh, pushing legislators to join in this investigation. And so it's a de facto uh, national initiative that we're creating by filing it in various states. Now, the success of being able to do this is all dependent upon can we raise the money from ordinary citizens who put up $10, $20, $100 that will permit us to fund this undertaking. And the funding of the commission itself can come from the various jurisdictions uh, across the country. Well, let me explain this to me, because I think it's a good idea to have investigations and have grand juries be contacted or have state commissions or even city commissions, because if a city lost any of its citizens, it can do it. New York, obviously, would be the you know, ideal place. That's been tried. They got the signatures, but it was blocked, uh, even though the, you know, the law said they should have done it. But, uh, I mean, what about an initiative just to get it on referendums in states to have a state... Uh, 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 have a commission uh, I mean in law because uh, I know you're a former U.S. Senator you know a lot so explain it to me how are you going to get states 
uh, to say, yes, we're now going, you know, uh, pass this resolution. Now we're going to bring in this, you know, you know, this commission, you know, that you guys have created. Or, or is your commission more of an advisory uh, movement to get the state to set up its own commission? No, God, no, it's not an advisory. This is real. Uh, what, what we do is by passing an initiative in any one state, let's say we pass it in Oregon where it takes less, takes less than 100,000 people to vote for it. If the people vote to create this commission, any other states by initiative or by law enacted through their legislatures can join that commission once it's in existence. And that's what we will have. And the constitutional law lawyers say this this passes muster. This will, I mean, it, it, yeah, that's for sure. In fact, it's a takeoff on what we had historically. You you, you remember the terminology a runaway grand jury? Well, what had happened was before the government covered its backside uh, by changing the law, people could form a grand jury and go ahead and investigate. Well, they were investigating the criminality of government, and so this was so threatening that the law was changed. No, I understand. That's why they've uh, you know, uh, turned juries and grand juries into kept uh, creatures of the prosecution. Well, Senator Gravel, we're definitely going to have to get you back up in the near future. Uh, this initiative uh, is, I guess, being launched right now. The site's up. Uh, it looks great. And if folks want to find out more or feel that you think this is a good initiative to get involved with, to donate, 911cc.org and or mikegravel.us. You'll find links there. Senator, uh, have a great weekend, and thanks for all your great work uh, investigating the tragic events of 9-11. Thank you, Alex, for having us on.